The information in this tutorial can apply to both digital and traditional painters. We love to color in between the lines. You may remember back in your little years, your teacher saying you should give you a smiley flower and outline so it can stand out and look more real. Good then, but now you want to make it look even more real. These lines act as boundaries between one surface to the next. What is daunting for many budding artists is learning not to use that, and it's also why many are too scared to even try painting, when it's actually a really fun, if not calming, hobby to have. So, how do we transition from that, from having lines to having no lines? How are we to distinguish two entities of the exact same color that are on top of each other, so they appear like two different things and not all melded into one? The idea to this is actually very simple. Objects in front of us appear vibrant and lighter than those receding into the distance. Let's look at this photo, for example. Here are a pair of dotedly fashionable boots. They are both the exact same color as each other. But what can we see here? Well, first of all, the boot in the back is indeed darker than the one in front. Let me tell you now that I have aligned these pair of boots directly underneath the light in the room, so there is no bias of shadows being made from the shoe in front, or lighting from behind, and etc, etc. If you still don't believe me, here is a picture of the shoes in the exact same spot, just viewed from the other side. Weird how that happens, huh? So right away you can distinguish two objects that are exactly the same color differently, just with a slight different shade. This then, in its own way, makes its own line. A pseudo line, if you will. So with dark outlines, we created the illusion of outline. So without dark outlines, we can still create the illusion of an outline. You can do it in this technique the same way with even two different colors. This technique you'll find a lot in vector graphics. From this point onward, now you are free to paint in the rest of your shading and highlights. But what happens if an object is touching and they're the same color as each other, but they are not overlapping and in fact in level with each other? Well, first of all, yes, the rule about touching objects closest to you as are more vibrant and vice versa will ultimately become null. But if they're touching, you'll see very tiny shadows happening, or if you like to call it, line art. What, so outlines do exist in real life? For example, Take a look at this hand with its fingers clenched together. Where all the gaps are, you will see dark lines. The further apart the fingers are, the fainter the lines get. So if you want the illusion of something touching or grasping very tightly to another object, make the lines sharper and darker. Simple findings and patterns in what we see, just like this, can be found simply from observing life, and any good artist will tell you this. This information alone will not drastically improve your paintings on the onset, but it will give you a foothold at least on starting to paint much more realistic forms. Now bring your imagination to life, and I hope to hear of your improvements soon. Mwah.